Hi Libra and welcome to your career reading for December 2022. We're going to take a look at your past, present and future energies when it comes to your professional life, your career. Let's see what the universe needs from you at this point to manifest abundance and further abundance in your life. We'll pull a few clarifiers and I'll close the reading with an oracle card as well. Uh, so let's jump right in and see what the universe has for you. My spirit guides, show me messages for Libra for their career, their professional life for the month of December 2022, past, present, future. Please note this is a general reading, so it might not resonate with everybody watching. It is for the Libra Collective. If you're after a personal reading, we'll find all the information in the description box below. If you like this reading, please do hit the like button and feel free to subscribe to the channel as well so you can get regular updates as and when I upload more videos. Past, present, future. Let's dive in. Past, present, future. What the universe needs from you, Libra. Bottom of the deck, we've got the five of cups. Okay, so I can see that there's probably been some sense of you know, discontent or disappointment with something to do with your career. But I wouldn't just leave it at that. I think the five of cups always is a good reminder to be grateful for the things that still continue to work for us. So this person in this card is very focused on the three cups that have fallen down. But the invitation is to just turn around and look at the two cups that are still upright and are still standing in your favor. So where do you perhaps, you know, need to just turn around and look at where you can still continue to be grateful for the things that you have in your life? Um, so that's one message that I'm getting here, Libra. But let's get started and let's see what the rest of the cards have in store for you. Uh, we'll just take a look at your past, present and future energies here. So in the recent past, you've been hard at work, Libra, with the Eight of Pentacles. In the current energies, nice, very bold, stepping into your power with the King of Wands. In the near future, I see you've put in all the hard work here and now you're going to be waiting for the results in the near, feature, near future and I do see the results coming in. Let's get you a few clarifiers and then we dive into your messages. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here for Libra? Why is the Eight of Pentacles here for Libra? Why is the King of Wands here for Libra? And why is the Seven of Pentacles the future energy here? Okay, bottom of this deck, we see death. So this is a card of transformation. This is a card of closing out chapters in life so that a brand new beginning can take place, so that you're making space for something new. This is also very opportune, I think, from a timing standpoint, given that we're almost at the end of the year. It's a good time to take a stock check, reflect on what has worked for you, what perhaps hasn't served you in the highest possible way and therefore needs to go. Um, you know, it's time in your life is, is kind of done and we need to close that door for a new one to open up for us. In the recent past, you've got the Eight of Pentacles with the Tower. Literally, this Tower card has been showing up in most readings. I think... A lot of people perhaps are in this phase of contemplating and seeing where certain energies just need to be eased out of our life. Let's just put these here on the side. Yeah. Um, so the tower energy is, 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 is a big energy. So I empathize with you if the recent past has felt a little bit difficult for you from a professional standpoint. Maybe something hit you uh, completely off center. Something came out of the blue. You weren't expecting it. Maybe... Uh, and I'm sorry if this is the case for you, but maybe there was a sudden job loss or I know there are thousands of people impacted by the recent round of like tech layoffs across the world. I'm sorry if, if that is your story, but or something very out of the blue um, got you into like this really busy work mode, like you really had to work a lot more or maybe there were layoffs in the company where you work at. So therefore your team got reduced and therefore you had to put in a lot more effort. That is the kind of energy that I'm getting here. In the current energies, we have the King of Wands and the Three of Wands. So I think you're now stepping up in your power and you've decided to take action in a certain direction and you're waiting for your ships to come. You're waiting to see results here. Let's get you a clarifier card here on the King of Wands and the Three of Wands. Okay, the Tower wants to show up again here. So, and we've got the Magician at the bottom of this, this deck. So I think when this gets shaken out of your life, because maybe this energy is still palpable and it's still around you and therefore it's showing up in the current energies as well. Sometimes, you know, what happens with energies like the Tower is that we try and resist it because it's such a big change and we sometimes try to slow it down or we try to just 
not deal with it altogether. And I'm not saying that you've done that, but I'm saying if you're resisting a change in your life, let this be a confirmation that this is divinely guided. The universe wants to bring something grander for you in the near future for which this needs to happen. So the universe often gives us little signs or inklings of you know where we should be taking our life uh, because that's our divine purpose in this lifetime. But we get busy in life or we don't pay much attention to it and then suddenly it hits us with this tower energy and something just collapses. The tower can also sometimes just mean that it's just very sudden. It's out of the blue. So maybe out of the blue, you got an opportunity to kind of step up, maybe in a leadership role because there were organizational changes. And now you're waiting to see how it all goes. In the near future, I do see clarity coming in with the Queen of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles. Perhaps you've been waiting to understand why all of this stuff happened here, why there's been this reorientation in your life. That clarity is going to come soon, um, Libra, with this Queen of Swords. And that's your energy, air energy, you know, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, like getting really clear cognitively, thinking really clearly, expressing your truth really clearly. Let's get you a clarifier for that combination here. Seven of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. Seven of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. The Ace of Pentacles, there you go. You're waiting for that brand new opportunity where you can step up uh, in your own truth. You can communicate really transparently and you've got the lovers under this deck. So the lovers is in a professional reading, the card of choices. Maybe you're choosing that since this tower moment has happened in the recent past and is continuing to unfold in your current energies, you want to explore something new. So, and the Ace of Pentacles, the universe's hand is coming in to give you this brand new opportunity in the near future. This could be a new job offer, a new way of thinking, a new line of work. This looks really, really beautiful for you. Uh, I'm really, really excited for you, Libra. What does the universe need from you at this point? There you go. The universe needs you to step it up. Be the emperor of your life. Take charge. Take the reins of your life in your hands. Take back control. This is a very huge step up because the king of wands is already a big step up. And then to top that, the universe needs a little bit more from you, a little bit more from you, Libra. It needs you to push it a little bit more, stretch yourself, uh, get very organized, make a plan, get your things in order, get your you know financial planning, your business planning. If, if this is a new idea, get those business cases working all of that because i think something really beautiful is coming your way with the ace of pentacles but you need to get working you need to start putting structure um, to your life to be able to do this soon oh i'm really excited for you uh libra this looks really nice let's see what the sacred destiny oracle has for you so what does your future self want you to know or what does your destiny want you to know at this point in time security interesting very very interesting so maybe you need to focus a little bit on perhaps where you might have over indexed on something that just felt safe and secure and they want you to now kind of just get clear in your own truth and take charge and move away from just something that feels too familiar or alternatively the message could be that this is um, an invitation for you to secure your finances, secure your plans in place. So you'll know best how this resonates with you. You know, obviously this is a general reading. So uh, please take how the message resonates. Typically on these cards, I think it's important to just ruminate on the image and see what calls out to you. But I see a beautiful sky full of stars. And finally, I feel like something is... Uh, opening up you know like the light is shining through now and now you see clearly which ties back to this queen of swords energy and maybe you've just been seeing illusions but now out of those illusions one illusion or one image or one shape and form really stands out um so beautiful like kind of unearthing something kind of energy coming through for you libra i'm really excited for you please leave me a comment in the comments box and let me know how this all resonates and, and what is this amazing uh, new ace of pentacles that that you've been working on or working towards take care libra i wish you all the very best